Okay, this is a, a snowblower made by Aska. Uh, it was told it was made in 1964, and it's almost my age. It still in a decent shape, you know. It, it's all metal, steel construction, and uh, the engine is a four horsepower cooler K91, and it's a cast iron engine, and it's. Uh, pretty heavy and the uh, gas tank and uh, this is the model K91R R means uh, uh, reduction gears so which is uh, this part okay so the engine come out and uh, reduce the speed reduction gears which you drop the chain here there's a clutch and it's harder to see but maybe you can see the chain moving so this is the engage position. This is a, a release position. It's supposed to have a knob, but the knob was broken in those 50 years of use. So, and um, the chain come up here will operate the auger. And it's a single stage snowblower. And the auger, you can grease it before the winter. Um, also you see the chain here and which is uh, drive the uh, the gears I mean the tires and the both tire is uh, uh, in the fixed axle so it goes uh, go in the same time and uh, don't like the today's uh, snow blower sometimes you have to put a pin here to lock both uh, wheels and uh, this way give you a better traction of course when you make a sharp turn, it's a little bit difficult you know, to uh, force it. And it's a quite a heavy machine, even though it's, a, I believe, a probably 22 inch cut, uh, maybe less. So, control is so simple. Uh, this is the on off switch. I think it's uh, the previous owner add on. And the cooler engine and the south. In the point here, there's a push button. Q switch is right here, if you can see. Okay. Now you can see. So it's a Q switch. It's right here. So without the wire add, and you just push down here, you will kill the engine. Um, the carburetor, I just. Uh, Put the, uh, the build kit and adjust the carburetor. We'll show you a little bit about the carburetor. And the last tool I use to adjust the engine speed. So it's a tachometer. This one is made by uh, in Germany, made in Germany, and it's sold by Brex and Stratton. This is another one, and uh, have the needle come out. I have a different video shows how to use it. It's pretty simple to use. You just have to slide the needle up and down until the vibrator the widest. That would be the indicated the speed on the side. So come back to the engine. Put a brand new spark plug. And it's a use a champion uh, JA, but this is auto light uh, one and the equivalent with a J8. And here's the carburetor. I believe the machine originally was a blue, so the owner uh, painted it to red. And I still can see the old blue color, but either way, it's working fine. So, this is the uh, main jet. And the initial setting will be like two turn out. And uh, this one is the idle speed and adjustment. Uh, the idle speed for this engine is, I believe it's 1800 RPM. So, and uh, this screw, maybe it's hard to see. This is uh, the idle speed uh, adjustment screw. 
So the initial setting is uh, one and a half turn out. After idle the uh, after you start the engine, right wind right the uh, the middle of the throttle, and you see I mark it here as idle. This uh, the cable in the old machine not always accurate. So start here, move up and down. We we'll start to control the uh, the engine speed. So the idle here or all, all the way down doesn't matter. So it should be give you 1800 RPM. The uh, for the four horsepower cooler engine, the maximum speed is a four thousand to uh, get a four horsepower. And uh, so carburetor, uh, it's very easy to remove the cover of the machine if you want to rebuild it. Basically, you have to take the cover off and have a couple screw. You lose the screw and you can take this plate off and also here uh, maybe so you can take the whole cupboard off there's a two screw in the back here after that it's uh, fairly easy just like you take care of any kind of carburetor uh, have to take care of the needle and which which I use the carburetor cleaner cleaned and there's a quite a few holes there. I think some guy on the YouTube have a bad video talk about a carburetor. But anyway, it's an interesting uh, snowblower. I found uh, just one video show the guy started the uh, this machine, and uh, I decided to make a more detailed uh, video. So if you have happen to have a S car snowblower maybe just look like this one or oh, in case you got one it's I think it's worth to fix it as you know it's the last 50 years already I think maybe it will last another 50 who knows this engine I think if you take care of get oil change probably is uh, indestructible and you can find the engine parts also you can find those uh, four horsepower in speed X small tractor or oh, lots of old tractor you can find those whole four horsepower um, I was told that this snowblower is very powerful and efficient and I will try in the coming winter to let you know how this uh, snowblower works and uh, actually it's a two speed you push down one speed and uh, go back the higher speed uh, the control is fairly simple you don't have to crank just move up and down that's it so thanks for watching enjoy